Hey, good morning, YouTube. Today is Sunday, October 20th, and we just booked some loads. It's 10-12 uh, right now. We booked these loads about 15, 20 minutes ago, but I've just been kind of blowing it. So we're going to go over to Macomb, Ohio, which is about 10 miles away, and remember I'm Bobtail, so I was expecting them to send me to somewhere to get a trailer, and if they was going to, to grab an empty, I was going to go right across the street to the Home Depot and grab one from there, no matter where they was telling me to go. But, <clears throat> uh, we, we don't have to do that. We can go in Bobtail, pick up the loaded trailer, take it to Wilmington, Illinois, to General Mills, which is 261 miles away, which is, uh, we'll have that dropped off today. And then we pick one up out of Wilmington, Illinois, right next door from Post Consumer Brands. Take it to Sam's in Gardner, Kansas. Drop it off tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, well, it doesn't have to be dropped off until, uh, no, it won't be dropped off until Tuesday. Uh, that's when the appointment starts. And then we drop it off there. Oh, get over there. Go back. And then we go over to Lawrence, Kansas, 45 miles away. Take a, take a, a it's a post load going down to Post in Wilmer, Texas. And drop it off uh, Wednesday. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, the one previous, the one going to Gardner is, it's a Sam's. It's a 9 a.m. live unload on Tuesday morning. So, yeah. All right, so we're good. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'm Bob Till. Uh, I've been walking around the truck during pre-trip. We're going to walk inside here, grab a monster. Here it's a pilot. Uh, maybe go to Subway, get some sort of breakfast wrap or something. Um, but being this late, probably not getting nothing breakfast. I don't know yet. We'll see. I know Taco Bell's in there. They, 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 I might, it's 10.15, so I might, I might still get breakfast at Taco Bell be able to. So, anyway, that's it. Let me get out of the truck. Let me get this day going. And, uh, yeah, let's go. All right, so I did make it inside Taco Bell to get breakfast. And I got one of the Grande... Breakfast burrito or sausage, not bacon, not steak, sausage. What makes the it's the grande? It's got some peppers, onions, and some sauce and stuff in there. The other one, normal, the little toaster, which is half the price, is just the meat, egg, and cheese. So I haven't had to talk about breakfast in. Well, I know I haven't had it since I've been out here on the road. But when I was driving a cab, I stopped there. I don't know, a couple times a month anyway. in there yeah good all right i'm gonna eat this get the road i'm gonna tell you guys what sucks about being an honest person well i get remember how i said i didn't need a i didn't need a um an empty to go in to that place to pick up a load security says otherwise it's like some bitch all I had to do when she asked me the question do you know whether or not your trailer's been swept out or not? All I had to do was say yes ma'am. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing less. Nothing. But my dumbass says well I'm Bobtail. I could have just said yes, ma'am. Problem is, I, can't, I, I won't lie. I don't care how simple or minute, I will not lie. I can't. My body, my, I, I, I'm just physically, I, it won't let me. I may not volunteer all the truth all the time. But if I'm asked a direct question, I'm honest. 
Remember when I left Kohl's yesterday, they didn't have any empties available? Well, they didn't have any empties I can get. They were blocked in, and there was a couple of them that were out of service. And I, I strategically parked near the Home Depot last night, because hoping a load would come out of here, but hell, it's eight miles away, so just as good. But when I saw that work assignment saying, hey, I don't need an empty, I'm like, sweet. But guess where I'm back? The Home Depot. Just grab, just connect. You heard me doing the air down brake test. I just did my pre trip. And while I was out doing my pre trip, I called Schneider. Say, listen, I went allowed Bob Taylor in there. I had came back to the Home Depot DC and Van Buren. Please add a pickup empty task for this specific trailer. All I had to do was say, yes, ma'am. I could have been down the road loaded. So now, even though I told that lady, this load may not get picked up today now because if I, if I give it back and I wasn't going to go with no empty hurt, empty ghost hunt, I mean, shipper gets failed, I get failed, and receiver gets failed today, all three of us. But I did come back here to the Home Depot. I talked to the lady up front and said, hey, listen, you know, I've been here quite a bit. It hasn't been in the past few weeks or so, but Schneider asked me to come by and see if I can grab an empty. He said, sure, no problem. Got my ID, did what, they, did what they do with the ID. I think they have to record the last four every 30 days. Every Home Depot I've been to, their question is 30 days. And then they ask either ask you for the last four of your driver's license or they just ask for your driver's license and they write the last four down. So, what ifs? But I'm waiting for my assignment to update, but I'm not going to wait for that to update. I'll fill that out when I get back there. Um, so, the governor just went off. Brake test is successfully passed. Light test is successfully passed. Brakes and drums and tires all look good for the eight mile trip to back to Hearthstone or Hearth, whatever the hell they're called. What are they called? Hearthside Food Solution. All right, let's get back over there and uh, let's get our load. Yo, I'm back here at Hearthside. Guess what? I just had a sample, I had three of them. My God, they're so good. Oh. Not even on the shelves yet. They were just made. Like, they were just made. They're so fresh. The cream don't stick to the, the cookie outsides. There's a new Oreo collab with Post Malone. Salted caramel and shortbread cream field chocolate cookie one side gingerbread cookie or shortbread cookie on the other side and the salted caramel ginger cream swirl on the end. Ugh. man i asked her for a bag guys like, can i have a, can i have a bag of those <laughs> she's like no i can give you a sample so i said i see so take a few of them let me try one first i think it's so damn good i was just imagining because i'm a, i'm the dipper i'm the i'm the dunker i'm the soaker i will dip my oreo until it's about damn near falling apart and then slop it in. Post Malone salted caramel shortbread cream Oreos. Not even on the shelves yet. Not even left the bakery here. They cooked this stuff. That was so good. All right, let me drop this empty, grab a load, and get down the road. All right, so I'm stopped at a travel plaza in Indiana, right uh, near Elkhart, off of I 80. It's uh, now 3.41 in the p.m., but I'm about to cross over into Central Time. We are currently 120 miles, 133 miles away from destination, which means we should be there about 4.45 Central Standard Time. But I stopped here and got, uh, what's this place called? I don't know, something roast chicken, whatever this restaurant's called. I got a chicken cheesesteak. Chicken cheesesteak half, okay. One of those roast, it's got roast in the name. I forget the name of the actual restaurant, but I also got order potato wedges. So, went inside did my thing. 
Got 14 minutes left of my 30. I've been listening to the Bills game throughout my drive, Tennessee at Buffalo. Fourth quarter, 13 minutes to go. Buffalo's up 24 to 10. First game of Amari Cooper on our roster. His first catch was a touchdown. Honestly, I wasn't expecting us to win this game. We still may not. It's not over yet. I've been kind of making a joke. We're a primetime team this year. We won on Thursday night football, won on Sunday night football, and won twice on Monday night football. That's our four wins, and the other two were losses just because it was just a regular game somewhere. I hope we win this game, put us at five and two. That'd be great. I saw a scroll a few minutes ago. I like Texans was beating Green Bay, I think. Buddy Ronnie's team is the Bengals. They were up 7-0 last time I noticed them. It's hard to tell. Anyhow, let me finish lunch. Watch a little bit of the game finally. I mean, I've been listening to it. I can't watch it, of course, while I'm driving. But um, I watched a little bit of the game. Amari Cooper just had another catch. They got his third. And finish out the 30, and we'll get on the road. Because like, oh, I always a drop this load, pick the next one up, and then shut up, Linda. And then uh, possibly do a live tonight with uh, James. I don't know yet. Depending on what time I can get parked and how I feel and all that good. So, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, see you in a little bit. All right, slight change of plans. Come on now. Slight change of plans. We are now at the Gary, Indiana Operating Center. I stopped here because all the fuel prices up here are just outrageous. 455 we're not five but 380 five bucks i was like holy four bucks I'm like, holy crap I, north sucks so all right let me let me stop by the gary osc get fuel here it'll be cheaper which it is but it's still 360. Mm. i did a search i can go down the road a little i, I got over uh i got over a quarter of tank so i got a couple hundred miles left i can get fuel cheaper down the road so and the traffic that I ran into, the Chicago area, of course, we're just a few miles from Chicago, and it's just 80s. It, we know it sucks. And I am 50 miles, 50 miles? Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. 54 miles away from delivery. And remember, my, my pickup, my next fix right across the street. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up here in the morning, go deliver, pick the next one up across the street, Drive about 400 miles with that one and be at uh, my, my delivery at 9 a.m. on Tuesday morning for the live unload for that. And then carry over to the next one, which is um, 45 miles away from there. Over in Lawrence, Kansas. Yeah, 45 miles away. Pick up that load and go down to uh, Wilmer, Texas with that. It's Dallas is where it's at. Just where the Wilmer OC is off 45. It's right down there. And I, and I can deliver that all day Wednesday. So uh, not in a big hurry for that one. The one that I'm on a time, not really a time crunch, uh, that I, but I have a hard appointment on is uh, tomorrow's pickup from Wilmington, 491 miles, 492 miles to get to Gardner, Kansas by 9 o'clock Tuesday morning. So we, we, we're good. We're good. Even by that plan, we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and just stay here. And I, 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 I say I'm going to avoid that. I don't know why it's so traffic on a Sunday. Well, the answer is it's Chicago area, right? That's the answer. So I'm hoping I was ho my logic was to avoid some of that stuff if I got up eight nine o'clock, you know, after the morning rush. But again. The answer is it's Chicago area. That logic is flawed. Logic doesn't make sense at all. Uh, so, <laughs> just ignore me. I'm a big dum-dum. 
big dum dum. So it's fine. I just I just did my walk around, finished up my post trip, and it's now five o'clock local time, but six o'clock east time, Eastern time. So I went ahead and went back in time an hour because I've crossed into Central. The Bills did win the game today. That was that was good. De second half, our defense showed up and was on fire. Josh Allen was 4'11 at halftime and finished out like, I don't know, 21 of 30 for 323 yards or some shit like that. A couple touchdowns. Yeah, our second half Bills needs to be a full game Bills the rest of the season. So we're 5 and 2, top the AFC East. We're looking pretty strong at times. It's just, I don't know what the deal is. Sometimes we're good, sometimes we don't. But. Whatever. I'm proud of my boys. Buffalo, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. So now, being 5 o'clock, what do I have on YouTube to watch today? Let's open up YouTube and find out. What do I have on YouTube to watch today? I got the Fly Rabbit I got I to gotta watch. I got Jeremy for Dinner I got to watch. I got Just a Few Acres Farm I got to watch. That's just the, the three of the six recommended pages just out of curiosity do you watch any of those people i just mentioned just a few now i don't know why i've never have been a farmer i didn't grow up on a farm and i have no plans in the future of being a farmer all of my bibs say otherwise even i ain't got them on today but i found this guy pete hi i'm pete welcome to just a few acres farm pete I, I don't know, he came across my feed there a couple years ago or so. And I've been watching him ever since. I have no interest in farming. Zero. Zilch. Nada. I have I can barely take care of myself, much less a flock of animals. But I watch him all the time. I mean he does a lot of a lot of farm stuff, a lot of hay stuff, a bunch of cows and you know butchering videos and then feeder chicken videos and bullet chicken videos and steamer chicken videos and all you know he, re restoration projects with his tractors and He's doing a, an old international pickup truck now, and just a bunch of stuff he does. I, I don't have any interest in doing this stuff at all, but I enjoy watching his videos. Now, I've tried to branch off since I found him. I said, let me branch off and watch some other ones. And yeah, I enjoyed those videos a couple times. For, but Pete, just a few acres for him. That's the channel I watch all the time. You, do you watch any video YouTube topics like that that you have zero interest in doing, but for whatever reason, that person's videos just make you like yeah i love it right so i don't know that's just me i'm not a commenter i rarely comment on anybody's videos i did comment on pete once said yo told him what i just told you i have no i clue and no clue why i'm attracted to your videos the way i am but uh thanks for being you and i think it's, i think it's because of pete i think it's because of him to be honest he's a real person he's genuine he's straight up and he's you know what you what you see is what you get I think that's what it is. Real attracts real, right? So that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and cut it, jibber jabber too much. Uh, thank you all for watching me and following me along. Someone did mention something about Warner's got the, I saw a Warner truck says, we keep America moving. Someone thought I might have some trademark infringement or something with my shirt. Only truckers keep America moving. No, it, it, we ain't got to worry about that. That ain't going to happen. There's no big deal there. But the only truckers keep America moving shirt is available. Shut up, Linda, is still available. And the, uh, this flag never stands. There's still it's, this flag never runs. Shirts are all still available on my shop. I have my merch link in the description, and I also put a specific link to each one of those three designs. And of course, there's a category for all my country my, my CT my CT merch. All everything branded with CT is there. Uh, CT specifically, rather. So t-shirts and all that, hats and. But yeah, there's a there's links in the description if you care. And I believe the 20% off everything is still going on. Don't quote me, but I believe the 20% off everything is still going on the shop right now. So click the link in the description or the tag, the product I have on, on the video here and go check it out. If it's 20% off, yo, take advantage, bro. Take advantage. Thank you so much for all the support from all of you, from the members, from the, from the merch purchasers, from the likes, from the comments, from the shares to the subscriptions, every single one of you means something to me really even the, even the, even the quiet ones who are just viewing i know there's people that view on tv because I, I used to be one of those people too i would always view on tv um back when i had my company truck i had my tv in here right i, I was always that 
and that, that viewer. So thank you all. I really appreciate it. The channel's growing. The numbers are getting higher. And uh, it's getting that time of year again where something special might happen. So stick around for that. Love you all. We'll see you tomorrow.